After almost 26 years and 1,232 episodes, Ash Ketchum's Pokemon journey has ended. It's time for the latest news out of Japan. The final episode of Pokemon aimed to be a Pokemon master just aired, and it was an emotional one. Titled The Rainbow and the Pokemon Master, the episode saw Ash bid his farewells to Misty and Brock, and they were headed back to their respective towns. The episode wasted no time getting our tear ducts warmed up, but was sure to include classic jokes. This episode has everything. We even got an update on Team Rocket and their breakup from a couple episodes ago. With emotional goodbyes out of the way and their journey complete, Ash and Pikachu then made their way back to Pallet Town. Upon arriving, Ash and Pikachu, dirty from their adventures, would be cleaned up and enjoy a night at home for the first time in a very long time. Something very telling would come the next morning. Before Ash could rush to visit Professor Oak, his mom stopped him. It was time to replace his dirty sneakers with a new pair. But these weren't just new shoes. Look closely and you'll see the iconic green symbol from Ash's original hat on the side of the sneakers. Fun fact, for those that don't know, the symbol is actually an L to represent the Pokemon League. And the original hat is something Ash won after sending, in his words, about a million coupons. And fans lost it with this moment. Immediately, talk of Ash returning began. But those fans must not be subscribed to Out of Japan, because we've already covered a story confirming that Ash will, in some way, someday return. Back to the episode though, Ash would turn down the shoes for now and make his way to Professor Oak to visit the trio of Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander. But Charmander was missing, setting off a massive hunt that allowed Ash to release all his Pokemon to help in the search. A clever way to give us a final look at Ash's Pokemon family. He would be rescued by Ash, but then came a surprise. It was Gary. Their time together was brief, but important. Gary would congratulate Ash on his victory and then drop a bomb, asking Ash now after his victory, how much closer are you to being a Pokemon master? What? Isn't Ash already a Pokemon master? It certainly makes you wonder. It even made Ash himself have to ponder. And we can't talk about Gary without addressing the obvious parallel of Gary in the first episode, declaring he'll become a Pokemon master. And now, almost 26 years later, asking Ash how close he is to become one. Days went by and Ash was just at home, enjoying normal life with his mom and Pokemon. He'd even meet Tracy, who now has a Venomoth. We'd even see Team Rockets come together again after they realized their shared passion for capturing Pikachu would keep them united. In their latest and, for now, final attempt to capture Pikachu, they'd be stopped by Ash's Pidgeot, who now, after hundreds of episodes, has decided to rejoin Ash. In case you forgot, Pidgeot left Ash to protect a flock of Pidgey in the Viridian Forest, and has remained there until now. Reunited with his old friend, Ash was back to daily life, but the earlier question from Gary was still on his mind. He decided to finally speak about it with Pikachu while waiting for a storm to pass. He'd directly say that being champion is not his goal. He'd made it clear that he still wants to have have adventures and meet Pokemon. To Ash, making friends with all the Pokemon in the world must be what it means to be a Pokemon master. And with that, there was a new goal. The next day, his mom would find him gone and the old shoes left behind. Ash, with a symbol of the past, would now set off on a new journey. And not too far behind, as always, Team Rocket would lurk. The iconic words wouldn't be left out. Next time, a new beginning. But for now, after almost 26 years, 1,232 episodes, and 23 movies, Ash's story is complete. 
What are your thoughts on Ash's final episode? Thankfully, we're guaranteed to see him again, like My Hero Academia Season 7.